Hello everybody, this is Effing Controller with another gripping installment of Uncharted Waters New Horizons. We are in the port of uh, Mindanao? Yeah. But not for long. We're going to give it a vaguely creepy name. <laughs> uh, what was it? Oh yeah. As supplied by Influx NUFC. Don't know what I think about this one, going to be honest. Yep. This is happening. So, yeah, this is your one-stop shop for all of your rapist needs. Good lord. I'm kind of regretting this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so, um, nobody noticed, but I kind of goofed um, in the last episode. I actually passed up a village, so I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit and go there, so... Uh, I'm going to probably cut the recording and resume there. I lied. We're actually not going to Lushan. We're going to uh, this port. Wait, did I say we were going to Lushan? Well, you know what? I lied regardless. At some point, I'm sure I lied. We're going to this village, and we have discovered a plant. That doesn't look like a plant. Wait, what? It's a plant and a worm. It is a strange insect which transforms itself into a fungus during the summer. It is highly valued in China as a tonic and elixir. Well, that's, uh, that's special. Uh, so are, like, bear gallbladders and moose dicks and crap. Who cares? I somehow doubt the medicinal value of the plant worm. Yes, I'm on record. Okay, so we're in Lushan, and I'm going to rename this in accordance with the wishes of Snorlax. 891. Congratulations. Welcome to the naming club. This port is now known as... Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. It's a big load. <laughs> oh no. That sucks. Wait for big load. Dear me. This is a disgusting let's play. Big Load is a nice name. Surely a reference to the enormous load of glass beads that we're carrying. Okay. I need to sell those before, <laughs> before I get in trouble. Make a reference that I really regret. Okay, we're going to sail off from here, and we're going to go to Izo. Because I have yet to defile that that princely port. Swam Izo! Easy like Sunday morning. Oh yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna sing in this anymore. It's actually just a hop, skip, and a jump here. So why cut the footage? My dog is being a complete idiot right now. Just in case you guys hear some strange noises, <laughs> he is uh, chasing a ball around that he is unable to uh, capture. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Oh, God love them. You know how, I don't know if any of you are from the American South, but you know how you can pretty much say anything you want about somebody and then follow it, follow it up with, you know, bless his heart? You know, boy, he sure does shit too close to the house, bless his heart. You know, that kind of thing. This is, this is, this dog of mine, you can do that with pretty much everything he does. That dog just don't know shit, bless his heart. Well, anyways, um, we're going to rename this port. And this is another Influx classic, although it, you know, it doesn't directly involve penises, as far as I'm able to tell, or, you know, deviant sexual practices. Am I doing this right? I better be doing this right. Looks good so far. And then this, and then this. Yeah, that looks decent. I'll tell you, the font for this game is really not suited for ASCII. Oh, well. Okay. Is that right? That yeah, looks pretty good. <laughs> My dog is an asshole. Oh, that looks cute. That's the best thing to happen to Japan. Well, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, so. Um, here's what we're actually doing in this little episode, other than coming up with poo-poo jokes and things like that. We're going to go to the Spice Islands and uh, 
buy some chili con carne seasoning, I guess. I don't know. And really what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for discoveries. So I'm going to uh, cut the recording here and pick up once we're in that general locale. Okay, we've just passed Rapists Are Us, so we must be getting close to the Spice Islands. Um... Uh, I think that there are occasionally some discoveries here in Borneo, which is to our west. So I'm going to fiddle fart around again. And so far, nothing. I think I already sailed by this part of the coast here, so this might be redundant, but whatever. Oh well. And so far, nothing. Uh, how about we go over here? Oh, that's a port. We've already been in that area. And nothing. Okay. I can live with that. I'll be fine. And this island here is... I think... I don't know what it is. I don't remember how to pronounce it. There's sometimes a discovery here, but it's not there. Just FYI. I know this game like the back of my hand. And here is Dilly, which is in Timor. East Timor, to be precise. We're going to stop here and fuel up. And by fuel up, I mean get weevil-infested food. You know, one thing I should have done... Well, maybe I'll leave that discussion for later. Disregard. So we're here in the Spice Islands getting, getting our spice on. And I, there's really not that many discoveries in here. It's just that it's a confusing area. And you get points for discovering all the different ports here, such as that one. Um, so I like to get it taken care of pretty quickly, just because it's it makes my head hurt. Because you can see there's just this mess of islands, and there's actually a section that you might have seen before where you can't pass through them. Um, well, here's a good port. Most of these ports uh, sell spices, as the name implies. Um, and those are great and all, but they really... They're not really that profitable unless you uh, deal with them in volume. Actually, let's go along the south coast of New Guinea here. Have we kind of mapped them out pretty well? I believe that those are most of the ports, actually. You see there's like five dots, kind of, in the area around us. That's pretty much it. Well, I guess one of those is Rapists Are Us, which doesn't count. It never counts. Uh, <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, yeah... Wait, no, I don't. I really don't remember what I was talking about. Well, here we go. Here's a village. So let's <laughs> let's pretend that that whole 30 seconds didn't happen. All right, I think I think you have to entertain quite a lot to get this particular discovery. I'm just gonna go ahead and go balls to the wall here. Keg stands, Jello shots, body shots, rabies shots. Hook shots, magical boomerangs. See, I like this free association thing I'm doing. Ah, uh, boy, I think I have to go to 50 something on this, maybe 50 or 55, but I can't drive 55, so this could be a problem. But um, bump, and there's your Van Halen reference. Was that Van Halen? I don't care. Oh, it was 50. Thank God. All right. So the greater bird of paradise, the male of this beautiful bird has a yellow head, long tail, and a dark green throat, but the female has only short feathers and is rather dull in color, and in intellect. Oh, I didn't say that. Women's rights! Alright, we're going to find a port here, I think. And Australia is just to the south of us here. So I'm going to try and circumnavigate it, which is not near as dirty as it sounds. Um, and we also, I should probably sail around, uh, New Guinea here. And I'm going to rename this port, too. And I'm not going to listen to any of your suggestions for this particular one, because I have a good idea for it. Because we are in New Guinea, and because we discovered the Bird of Paradise, I'm going to name it after Sir... Is it David Attenborough, the actor, or is Richard Attenborough the actor? Well, I know that they're brothers, and I know that one of them is the bird guy, and one of them is the actor guy. The, 
Um, I'm naming this after the bird guy. I think that's Richard, right? I don't care. It's Attenborough. I like that name. It is a nice name. All right. <laughs> named after the guy who discovered the bird that can uh, make the sound of a camera shutter and sing happy birthday. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go around the north part here, and Solomons are to the east. I don't think that there's anything... Oh, wait, no. Solomons are to the east of here. But there's probably not anything interesting. We'll go and look just to be sure. Just to be absolutely certain, because, you know, it took me a long time in this game to actually um, map everything out. I did. There are islands that you wouldn't have expected to be there, that are there, and you have to um, be a little brave and, you know, do a little contiki kind of thing every now and then. Just go out into the ocean and think, I'm going to find an island, I'm just gonna. You don't have to get that into it. You don't have to be like me in so many ways. You don't have to be like me. <laughs> Alright, that is all for New Guinea, so there's nothing really that interesting. Oh, well. Where are we now? Yeah, let's go to that port to the southwest and... Well, actually, let's see. We actually should be good. I think that there's a port in Australia that we're going to be able to run into. Hopefully. <laughs> Famous last words, I guess. Oh, there it is. All right. And I don't have a clever name for this, so if anybody has one... Even if it's grossly sexual, I'll consider it. <laughs> Alright, and that's a white dude. What is he doing here? It is 1523. That makes no sense. A tiger? In Africa? Is that appropriate? I don't know. It was fun to say. And so Australia is actually really great, despite, you know, Despite how it is in real life. Ha 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 ha. The discoveries here are pretty good. You don't want to probably go here until later on in the game because it is, you know, obviously big. And it does have some pretty excellent discoveries. It's just that if you don't have a very big boat, you're not going to be able to get very many of the discoveries. So there's your fun fact for the episode. So if you have a boat like this, though, obviously it's uh, much easier. So it's just a big party boat. Damn it. I know that this is probably a little bit tiresome to watch with the entertaining and everything, but there's just nothing I can do for it, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to play through as as it is. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Doop 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 doo. Again, that last 30 seconds didn't happen. Stricken from the record. I suppose I could have edited that out, but no, we're not going to do that. It's a kangaroo with a baby joey. Its long fat tail and powerful hind legs help this animal hip hop along. Oh, that is just freaking horrible. Okay. The newly born infants, still small and pinkish, crawl into a pouch. <laughs> on the mother's belly. I almost lapsed back into it there. That was unnerving. And they remain there during their infancy. Alright, well, that's disgusting. Let's see. Uh, how are we for food? We're pretty good. So I think that there's there's actually a lot of discoveries in here, so we're going to probably have to be a little bit more watchful of the food than I just was there. Oh, speak of the devil. Shrimp on the bobby. I wonder what this is. I wonder if this is Foster's or uh, Vegemite. You know, I, I've i had Vegemite, and I don't think it's as appalling as a lot of Americans do. It, it's it's certainly not the strangest thing I've eaten. I mean, isn't it just brewer's yeast in paste form? I don't know. There's weirder stuff in most of the food that most people eat every day. Uh, I think probably the oddest thing I've eaten... Uh, 
probably a deer heart, or an, I think it was actually an elk heart. It wasn't like it was it wasn't like still beating, like freshly plucked <laughs> from a dead elk or anything like that. It was like probably I think it was boiled. It's kind of like tongue uh, in terms of flavor and texture. It wasn't bad. Um, but that's probably the strangest thing I've eaten, and I don't think Vegemite is anywhere near that. All right, so we've discovered an animal whose heart I'm going to eat. Oh no, I'm not. It's the what the fuck lizard. <laughs> It's a lizard with a large umbrella-like frill. It rises up and opens the frill to intimidate enemies and runs away only on its rear legs. I love that thing. I used to have a uh, little rubber version of it as a kid, like a... just as a toy that sat there with its frilled neck open. I don't know. That means nothing to you. All right, so... Where are we going? Hopefully to another port, because, well, food situation's getting a little bit dicey, so we might want to pass up any villages that we see in lieu of finding a uh, port. And there's not a port there. What am I doing? Should be one coming up, though. There we are. Excellent. Geelong. Gross. We're gonna, damn it, we're gonna, we're gonna stop here. And get some grub. Literally. Another white dude. It's the two white dudes in Australia. Alright. Got some food now. And I'm going to go down here to Tasmania. Home of a ill-fated Warner Brothers uh, cartoon. Actually, it wasn't that ill-fated. I think it was actually fairly successful. And I enjoyed it. So what am I talking about? There should be... Oh, there we are. And I think we can all guess what this is. Is there anybody famous from Tasmania? Feel free to answer that. I don't really care. Oh, you bastards! Oh, that hurts, actually. That's not good, because it takes forever to get more sailors in this area. Oh, you assholes. Oh, whoops. Well, that's what it says if you try to search someplace where you've already found the discovery. And again, there are... The game is pretty strict about that. One discovery per customer. So... There... Oh, there's another village. I was going to say there should be another village here, usually. Sad that I know that. This one probably is going to take a little bit of entertaining, so... More, uh drunken debauchery ahead. And if any more of my crew leaves, I'm going to just be so sad. Because it's going to be tough. We have to get back up into the Spice Islands at least to get more crew. Oh, thank God. And what do we have? The koala. I've never heard of it. It is a tree-dwelling marsupial mammal that only eats the leaves of the eucalyptus tree. Koala young spend their first six months in their mother's pouch, feeding on pre-digested eucalyptus leaves. Oh. Man. Talk about disgusting food. That's horrifying. Well. So that's Australia, I think. We're about to start turning west again, I believe. Right? We're kind of going northwest. Yep, there we are. There's possibly a, could be some more discoveries here. Let me go down in here. I think that there's... Well, we'll, we'll find out. There you are. There you are! Okay. It's pretty windy here. The flag actually does represent how fast the uh, wind is in the area. Fun fact. But again, in this kind of ship, we actually move pretty quickly regardless of the wind speed. Let's go up to 25. Why don't we? Huzzah! What did we get? The kiwi, huh? Named for its cry, this is a flightless nocturnal bird with a small head and a long slender bill that has nostrils near the tip. It uses its highly developed sense of smell to find its food. I thought that kiwis are mostly native to New Zealand. I mean, I don't mean that in the the the, 
uh, what's the word? Never mind. <laughs> Basically, I was trying to make a joke or something about New Zealanders being called Kiwis, and it just, something bad happened, I don't know. Anywho, I, I, and also, really, there's probably multiple species of Kiwis that, you know, are in Australia and in New Zealand, so it's just all around a complete fail train. My apologies. We're going to stop here and see if we can get some more crew. And we do that by going to the cafe. And I'm not going to bother trading here either, because... Again, I don't... The glass beads are really designed to drive the prices down in a market where you have really high value trade goods. These goods here are pretty low value. Like, you can buy cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger and things like that, but they're all extremely cheap here, so there's no point. We're going to do that probably in Africa. I'm going to see if there's anybody here to actually hire. Nope. It's kind of a long shot, I guess. So we're going to treat the ever-loving crap out of people here. Oh, I'm delighted to serve you. Yep. So we treated everybody possible, and we only got eight folks to join up with us. Fortunately, though, it should only take one more trip to um, a port to get that straightened out. And actually, I just noticed something, that I have crew assigned to combat. Wait, no, I don't. I don't know how to read is what I just noticed. Okay. So moving right along. Um, let's actually take a look and see how things look on our map. I think what I'm going to do... Hmm. <laughs> I would like to go back to Africa to sell some of the... Uh, the glass beads, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So we're actually going to start heading back to Europe, and uh, by way of Africa, and we're going to sell some shit and buy some shit in Africa, and we're going to make tons and tons of money. So, for now, I think I'm going to pause. This is Epic Controller in uh, Dilly. Am I in? Where am I? Whose pants are these? I'm in Dilly. So from Dilly, I bid you all a fond farewell, and I will see you later.